What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are all right. Not stressing out too much. Um, I'm going to tell you about a couple of dreams I had. And one of them was, uh, well, these dreams happened a while back already. But my channel, I, I don't like putting my dreams on my channel. I don't, that's that kind of channel I got, like a dream channel. I know some people get all into that. And I'm just not in. Most of the time, I forget my dreams anyway, you know. With these two, I remembered. Okay. So this was a dream I had in January. And it has to do with all of this that's going on. And this is real. I'm not just making this up to make a video. Okay. I should have posted this maybe. But I didn't think it was. I mean, I kept it to myself. Uh, I thought it was maybe it just uh, was for China at the time but I should have known better uh, now I see it's probably for us um, but the dream was like this well basically I was in, the, in my house I am right now and I looked out my front window and I seen military National Guard or actually the army you know driving down my street in the dream and they were driving up and down and then uh, I think they came to the door and asked me something, tried to get me to leave my house, and I said, no, I refused. I said, I'm not leaving. And then they left, and there was some people outside here and there, and they were taking some people out. Some people were t being told to leave, right? And they were putting these people into places I don't know where. But I stayed in the house in the dream, they didn't get me out. I refused. And then um, the next thing I knew, um, yeah, I looked outside, and, you know, and then the next thing I knew, uh, I seen in the dream that uh, at nighttime, and I seen military going through people's houses at night, empty houses at night. The houses are empty now. And they were going through people's houses without permission while the people were gone that they told to go somewhere else they were searching for something they were looking for stuff I don't know what maybe food who knows what they were looking for they were looking for stuff maybe people and then um, after that I'm in uh, another house I'm in my ma's house all of a sudden I'm in the house with my mom and my a couple family members that were at her house in the house and that was kind of how the dream ended, okay? And I remember that. I said, wow, military? And then, this was like in January. And then I said, well, this is when, you know, this coat, the CV-19 was just starting out, right? So we're in March now. And then this is when it was getting into China kind of big time when we were getting all the reports out of China. And then I thought, well, maybe it's just for, maybe it was just for China, because they, you know how China is, communist country, and you know what they did, right? So um, I said, okay, and I didn't make it. I didn't make a video. I, I was thinking about. It. I never got around to it. I said, nah. But even if I did, uh, what were you gonna do? What were you guys gonna do? Are you gonna pack up and leave? Where are you gonna go to? Really, to the woods? <laughs> you know, maybe maybe you guys got a bug out place. I don't. <laughs> you know. And I'm not running from these guys either. So I don't know about you guys. I'm not, and I'm not getting vaccinated, and I'm not going to leave my, my residence to go anywhere in some freaking place because that would probably be the end. I'm not doing that. I don't know about you guys. That's how I'm going to roll. You know, no, I'm not leaving. You know, they're going to have to take me out or whatever if that's what it comes down to. I'm serious. But anyways, that's the dream. Now a few months, like a little before that. Like in December of 2019, I think it was in December. I'm not sure, November or December, right? I had another dream. And this was a, a pretty vivid too. Now this one was based on the rapture. I don't know if some of you guys believe in a rapture or not. But I was feeling pretty down at that time, like in late, um, in late 2019, because my cat had just died. And... Um, I, you know, I, I was going through that and I was feeling pretty, you know, feeling that loss in here and I was feeling kind of lonely and stuff. And it's the middle of winter 
and I had some other stuff going on, family problems. And so <clears throat> going through a little bit of that. Anyways, I went to bed one night and I asked God, I said, hey, God, uh, show me something. Give me a, you know, comfort me in some kind of way. Can you comfort, can you do something? <clears throat> I, you know, because I talked to God like a friend. And so I went to bed. And I said, you know, because I'm feeling pretty low. And I went to bed, okay, said my prayers and went to bed. And um, I had a dream. That, that's when I had the dream. And uh, in the dream, uh, <clears throat> sorry if I'm saying oh too much, but <laughs> anyways, in the dream, I started, I'm not sure how it really started, but all of a sudden, I am I was going up in the air, me, and then someone, there was people, there was a, a person to my left, I think a woman. But further away, you know, it was, you know, not close by me, but like maybe 10, 20 feet away and then somebody else next to her. And then there was some people to my right. And we're going up in the air into the clouds and coming out of the uh, coming out from like above us from like to the to the left of us, there was um come coming from out I, i'm not sure where it was coming from it was coming from higher than we were and it was these crowns and there were rows of crowns and they were all in a row and they were kind of like as we go we go up they were being pl go, going on our heads believe it or not one was coming on me the woman next to me we were getting these crowns okay and we were going up right and then I looked down into the clouds, okay, and then I it kind of zoomed into this house. And in the house, I seen this white lady, an older white woman. And she was in the house, and um, she was not with us. She wasn't coming up. And she said, I heard her say, I, I was like, I was right there. I could see her. And she went to her husband. Her husband was there, too. They were an older couple. And she says... I didn't think he was real. And and that's what they said. And then I seen them looking at each other and then they hugged. And we were and then it kind of zoomed away from that. And we kept going up. And I don't know what happened after that. And then I kind of like I kind of woke up. And I woke up crying kind of, you know, cuz I was in that emotional state of, you know, I just kind of had a tear in my eye. I was I was kind of emotional over it. And I just said, thank you, God, you know, and uh, so I was not a big rapture guy. In fact, the last few years, I, I didn't even believe it. I said, no, nah, we're, we're going to be here, you know, till the end. That's what I always believed. And but when I had this dream, man, it changed everything for me as, as far as that goes. Because I always keep seeing these videos, these people on YouTube. Oh, the rapture's coming. Be rapture ready. It's this date. I don't set dates. Okay, I don't even talk about it. But, you know, you see all these people making videos, right? And so, and after that dream, what the lady said, that um, she didn't believe uh, he was real. That told me that everybody is going to know when the rapture happens, even non-believers, even atheists, they're going to know it. And that told me, too, that there is a rapture because she was left behind. So that means there is a rapture. We're going up, and she's going to stay down here. Now, it doesn't mean she's going to go to hell, but it does mean now she knows that God is real. She's going to have to go through the tribulation and prove herself. That woman could still end up in heaven, right? So... That told me that we are going to be taken out of this place, you know, a lot of us. And they're probably going to blame it on an alien invasion or some kind of stuff. Who knows? You know, they're going to come up with something, man. But I just thought I'd tell you this. And uh, that's my two dreams right there, man. So uh, don't fear. Don't get all nervous about military. 
And this thing going on right now is just a freaking test. It's a run. It's a psychological operation. Uh, they're going to see how we react to it. And they're just preparing for this is like pre stage one. This ain't even stage one. This is like pre stage one. And so what it looks like, and actually we might be going to war. Who knows? I don't know. It looks like they're getting ready to go to war, but who knows? Maybe with people. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> but I also had another dream the other night. It was weird that I was seeing something in the sky, like something was coming in the sky. And then I seen this something break out. It looked like a bright light or sun, but it wasn't the sun. I knew it wasn't the sun. And, um, and then me and this, in this dream, me and my nephew were in there. And I haven't talked to this dude in years. Okay. <laughs> and he was next to me to my left, right? We used to be close, but I haven't talked to him in a long time. He's married with kids now and everything. And anyways, he was there and all, everybody was like going to this place where like they were trying to get a better look of the sky and they were all going in front of us to this running to this one place. It was a lot of people and everyone was looking up like, and, and um, I almost wanted, because there was just me and him, we knew it. I said, I almost wanted to grab his hand. I said, hey, for, that way we don't get separated. And then we were going and then that was it. That's all. That's how it ended, you know, but. You know, anyways, guys, that was another one I had that kind of stayed with me. But normally I have dreams and I might get up and remember it, and then I go back to bed or something. I'll forget it. But those dreams right there have stayed with me. And so, you know, make of it what you will. Uh, it's a heads up. You know, get close to God. Our redemption draws an eye when you start seeing these things. With this thing here. Ain't going to do nothing because when God comes back, the scriptures say that everything is back to normal. OK, people are getting married and everything. And this ain't normal. Right. And we won't be in a lockdown when God comes back. OK, so things are going to get back to normal. Now, scriptures, you know, look at the scriptures. They say when when that happens, everybody's going about their business and working and all that and everything is normal. people are getting married and eating and everything and right now you don't see a lot of that so this is going to pass i don't know how long it's going to take but you know it'll get back to normal and uh there's no rapture going to happen during this time because this is not a normal thing but what they're doing who knows maybe they are installing the 5g i don't know and, but they're gonna they're doing a test run heck they might even bring the Chinese in here to, to uh, be the military because they won't they won't really care about us because we're different right they're different country different people right they don't even care about their own people so <laughs> how do you think they would treat us they could bring the Chinese military into the into the United States for all we know <laughs> yeah it could get crazy folks but don't worry man. Anyways, I'm going to let you go. This video is too long. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.